Hey guys, <laughs> we got a 13 hour drive. 13 hours. So this is like one of the many times we're gonna fill up today. Oh, I just don't know about it, I'll be honest with you. I love a Toyota, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I'm gonna lay it out there. I'm not sponsored by Toyota either. That's my, that's my like city to say is I'm not sponsored by these people because I'm not. But I can't wait to just blow the, the rings out of this thing driving 13 miles, 13 hours. I mean, like, literally, this thing only gets about six miles a gallon. It's like a freaking tractor trailer. Just so, 13 hours, we're going to Austin, Texas, halfway across the United States. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Y'all join us. guys we have made it back into the great state of texas the last free state they need to work on them roads just a little bit because we just come through beaumont oh my god holy sh oh my gosh buddy that was not a joke this is not a game hey look I told, I told B behind the camera, I said, listen, you want to rip the frame out from underneath your truck or boat, drive through Beaumont, Texas. It's horrible. Oh my God. We finally made it to Beaumont, Texas. And uh, they've been working on this same exact stretch of road for at least 43 years. I don't know why we haven't got any progress toward it. I have no clue but it was the same way 15 years ago. So anyway, we're headed to Lake Travis in Austin, Texas. Um, headed out west, we're going west. This is the farthest west we're gonna go this year. So uh, we're pretty pumped up, ready to get here and catch some bass. Uh, I think it's gonna be a good tournament, I really do. I think it's gonna be a fun tournament. We're gonna catch a ton of fish and uh, it feels good to be back after it. You know, uh, we're not going to mention North Carolina because it was not that easy there. Here, there's going to be a ton of fish caught. Like, you may go and catch 100 in a day. So I'm ready to reel some in. We're excited. We're headed that way. Today is a Monday. Practice starts Wednesday. But it's so stinking far out here. It's like 13 hours. It's going to take us about 13, almost 14 hours, including stopping and hitting freaking giant bumps in Texas. So, uh, we're on the way, guys. Now, buckle up. Now buckle up. I need three seat belts coming through this place. Oh, really? Well, hello there. <laughs> you caught me off guard again. All right, guys, here we go. Hell, all right, guys. So, we just drove 12 hours. And uh, I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, dude, I'm tired of driving. I'm done with it. So I said, let's go. So we're over here at Somerville Lake. Some kind of lake. I don't even know what kind of lake it is, but we're here. So I don't know. I decided we're going to stop in and go bass fishing a little bit. I kind of was tired of driving. I said, forget this. We, we're done. So we're going to try to catch a bass. I don't even know if bass live in here. I don't know. I'm sure one or two does. They's big ones in all these lakes. So I'm going to go throw me a little top water around and try to catch me a old biggie. If I don't run us up on the bank first. Dang it. Oh. Two very boring minutes later. Yep, she's trash. Doing any good? 
Oh no, we just bass fishing a little bit. Y'all catch bass in here? I haven't caught any. Mostly crappie. Crappie, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we ain't had no luck yet. He said bass. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -oh. Alright, we've been fishing for about 14 minutes. We'll give y'all a little midday update. 14 minutes on Somerville. They ain't biting. <laughs> I don't even think bass live in here. I really don't. Water's like got this green algae look in it. It looks so, so good. Actually, it's like toilet bowl water. And I went by this dock over there. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to wonder if there's even any bass in here. <clears throat> and I asked the guy on the dock. He said, "Y'all have any luck?" I said, "No." I said, "How about you?" He said, "Oh, we catch crappie." I said, "You ever caught any?" I said, "You caught any bass?" He said, "Bass." My head, bass. I said, "Yeah." He said, "No, we don't never catch no bass." Y'all comment below, does Somerville got bass in it? I don't know. It may be amazing. I don't know. I didn't do no research on it. I just rolled up. Water looks green. Algae bloom. Ain't no bass. I got about 12 more minutes on this place. And I'm on woo woo. We're going to the hotel. I had to break up the, the driving though, man. I could not sit there and drive. I drove 12 hours. I had to at least spend a little time out here on the pond. Place stinks. <laughs> 14 minutes in, I'm like, let's go. <laughs> they're not, they're not gonna catch themselves, but I'm not going to catch them here either. They're not, not, not biting. So like, low key, they're not biting. They're just, you know what's funny is there's gonna be people that comment below that say, that place has got a bunch of share lunkers in it. They got two uniters that has three fish for 14 pounds, and I'm like, this place stinks. <laughs> What's the late record on this place? All tackle record for Somerville. 13.60 pounds. Bass? Bass. This place is badass. This place got them, son. Let's go catch them. We're back! This place got them, let's go! Well. Well. That's a decent one. <coughs> that was that one, son. This place is good! <coughs> Look at that one, boys. I got me one. How about that? He's sitting there eating, what's he eating? Well, chef, crawfish? He got something coming out of his gullet right there. Let's see what it is. I can't get it. Well, welcome to Texas. There it is right there. See that big old shad? Welcome to Texas. We had to stop on in and get us a little bite by a little bass right there. I bet he smells good. Oh, but he smells good. going on man come here come here look at her she's pregnant you got a little pot belly all right we're in the free state of texas free state of texas you gotta love it Look at that one out there, that's a big one. That's a big hog. That's 
bunch of hogs, man. But you told me I This is where it's at. This is where it's at. Right here. Are you kidding me? Where can you go bass fishing and catch big bass, shoot big hogs, see deer on the side of the road, grass green, turkeys are goblin. This is Texas. Why can't every state be like this, man? This is awesome. You ain't gotta wear no mask outside? Unreal. Look right here. <coughs> Your debt is paid if you believe in me. Did you get that sign? No, I didn't see what you were Dang, talking about. That's fine. I'm a terrible it, camera guy. All right, here we go. Day two of travel. Uh, we're back on the road, headed west. We are about 55 minutes away from the house that we we're staying at, at Lake Travis. Uh, yesterday, we drove for about 10 hours or so. I was like, dude, I'm done done tired of driving so we slid on into a little lake <clears throat> slid onto a little lake right there and uh decided to go fishing for a little bit caught a couple bass just kind of poked around i didn't really feel like sitting in a hotel room so got out there had a little had a little fun till dark and then uh got up this morning and we were back on the road headed to the house we're about to meet up with all the guys there jacob mark I don't even know what time Adrian's gonna be there. Adrian just got done fishing a tournament, but anyway, we got, uh, I'm gonna run by the grocery store, get some stuff, get some lunch. Lunch for practice, cause days are starting to get long. It's getting daylight about 6.30, getting dark about 8.30. So, uh, <clears throat> headed that way. Lake Travis practice starts in the morning. We'll catch up with y'all when we get in the house. It's recording. Yeah. All right, guys, here we go. This is the first time for me. First time for you. Yeah. First time for me. Y'all see it in a hib. It's hib time. I was sitting there googling on my phone. I was like, "What is this place?" Uh, it's a hib. And I ain't got no face covering. I thought we was in Texas. I didn't figure they was. I don't know. We'll see how many people look at us. Face covering is required. Well. Perfect. Oh well. That place is pretty dang legit, ain't gonna lie. Oh, hey, I've got it. Hey, I've got them. You can even buy plants in here, too. Let's see if anybody's stealing my stuff out here. Man, I like this. Look right here. You'll see this. You'll see this in Alabama. Look right here. Big tricycle. Man, having a captain's hat. <laughs> he did. He's a captain. <laughs> Big tricycle. That's an adult tricycle. Is what that one was right there. <laughs> you just ride around on that thing. That's it. All right, we made it. Here we are. We have finally arrived. And I'm tell y'all something else. Look right there. Stars and stripes are flying. We made it. We made it. This is the, the cost for the week. 
pretty cool little then, joint. I'm he, waiting on one of these cedar trees to Craig, fall on my truck, though, because I guarantee you, they probably will for the end of the week. That's crazy, uh, man. I knew neighbor Craig. That's one of Josh's. That's one of Josh's. Really Say what's up, Mark. What up? We finally made it. We in the building. We got armadillos right here in the, in the grass. Right, cool. Check them out. Okay, well, what up, awesome. y'all? So y'all come on in. Let's go check out the house. You guys fix that up with us. What you used to call this? MTV Cribs? Yeah. You remember that show? Yeah. MTV Cribs? Hey, you, Welcome to my crib this week. <clears throat> this is the lake house. This is actually not our crib. We just rented this. I don't even know. Is this a double wide? I don't know. Kind of acts like a double wide on the road. I like it. It's more like my style. And the most important room in the house? Right there. That's where all the business goes down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this is not my room. So we got a nice little place this week, man. Pretty nice little joint. Well, let's hop on back here. Let's hop on out here. Let's see what we got. I literally have not even walked back here yet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Boy, I can't wait. I can't wait to just tear these boys up. Right here, y'all ready? Ah! going down this week. <coughs> Is that a bad mitten? That's no, bad mitten. That ain't even ping pong. Man, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come on. That's it. I'm in my zone. I'm in my zone already. Yeah, man. Pretty nice little place. Look, we got a little area right here. We can just chill out here. Feel it. Adrian. Yo. You don't want none of this ping pong. Hey, I'll pay you a hundred dollars. You don't want none of this bad mitten either. Bad mitten? Bad mitten. Hey, let's go. We made it. Are you any good? Huh? Any good? Duh. Am I any good? Both. DC's about to get his butt with the ping pong. I'll tell you how good I am at ping pong. You ready? <laughs> hey, how about this? We'll play to 21. I'll spot you 15 points. I'm down for that. $20. No. I'm not, I'm not, listen, I'm better than that. <laughs> listen, I'll tell you what my skills are on the ping pong. You ready? I'm about equivalent to basketball, which is horrid, <laughs> which is really bad. Hey, I'll, I'll, I'll take that bet, though. Let's go. I got to go risk the table. Caspiano. Yeah, that's not a good ass memory, too. Yeah. Little Jungle, Cage Lake. Yeah. Hey, calm down now. I've been here once. Oh, we already going. Yeah, I was getting just a little oh, bit of like what was about to happen. 10 4, 10 4. That wraps it up. We finally made it to the house. We had a little tournament meeting. A little. <laughs> Two and a half hour tournament meeting. Ooh. So, uh, unreal. So, uh, yeah, man, practice starts in the morning. We are on Lake Travis coming up this week. What do you think, Mark? What do you think? It's going to be a good tournament? Oh, it's good. definitely going to be good dirt. We've been here before, 2017. Right. Almost, actually. Uh, on the Elite. A lot of bass. A lot of fish in this place. Man. There's going to be some fish catches this week. Oh, yeah. You can guarantee super, that. Super clear water, super deep. Really, really a little different than anything we ever fished on BPT. I mean, this is, you could probably equivalent this to like maybe a Lanier, maybe, like kind of. Smith Lake with Smith like large mouth. Exactly. What you think, yeah. That'd be a good assessment? No, no bass in marinas, though. No, yeah, ain't no, no bass in these marinas. When y'all come to Lake Travis and you see them big marinas in front of the boats, don't go in there. Ain't no hey, your boat's there. sitting in 70 foot. Fish don't live in 70 don't foot. Don't out there. <laughs> don't fish here. There's a there's an occasional giant one, but they got all them little Guadalupe little bass. They do. If he weighs one pound nine ounces, I like him. I like him. Too. So just so y'all know too, Guadalupe bass. I know a lot of y'all probably like what? What is that? Do a quick Google search. Basically, they speak Spanish. They speak. They spot a bass that speaks Spanish. <laughs> Point blank period. That's all they do. They speak Spanish. Hola, señor. I weigh one pound one ounce. <laughs> Throw me back. Throw me back. Well, one one's a big one, Guadalupe. What is it? Yeah. One one, Guadalupe. You know, I call it one fourteen. That's a freaking giant. That's like Guadalupe. 
When was here? You ain't find a water. Oh, one fourteen, bro. You ain't find a water. Yeah. Hey, them guys, they got kind of like red eyes too for some reason. Little red uh, eyes. I mean, honestly, I know they own species and all that, but really, they just look like a spotted bass to me. That's like Texas state bass. It is. Guadalupe. It is. You're right. Guadalupe yeah. spotted bass. That's crazy. That's the <coughs> state's the bass. I know when they're known for being big bass. Well, the reason is because they only live in yeah. Texas. Outside. They're only in certain fisheries too. Like they're they're very. Oh, I haven't fished places. That. I mean, this is honestly the only place I ever fished that caught Guadalupe. I had a guy yeah. last I caught Guadalupe in every Texas lake. Like, Louisville's got them. Oh, no kidding? Man, Sam Rayburn's got them things. No, I no, no, no. spotted bass, bro. Not the Guadalupe. Mm -hmm. Whatever Sam baby. Rayburn's got is a little baby spotted oh, bass. Oh, funny. Hey, but look, they the fattest little 10 inch bass you've ever seen. They were like Kentucky spots. They were Kentucky spots. Yeah, yes. they Kentucky I say that. Ross Barnett has got Kentucky spots. Big stuff. Four and a half to five pounds yeah, Kentucky spotted bass. Yeah, so like they're, they're not but all you, that little. You don't see them often though. No. I'm going to tell you something else. The real spotted bass, guess where he's from? Mm-hmm. Alabama. Nope, California. Or is, it, or is it? I'm just kidding. I was going to say, it's wait, 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 wait. <coughs> our, our spots are from, are from Absolutely. It's they good brought them from, uh, like, no, the, well, the ones in California, they Come literally Smith brought them from Smith Lake. Yeah, Smith Lake. <coughs> Smith. <coughs> Smith. Smith. S M I F F. Two Fs. Smith. Smith Lake. Look, you got to end it with the. He's <laughs> <laughs> otherwise you didn't say it right. Smith. Smith. That's Smith. it. So uh, anyway, the goal this week is to not catch Guadalupe bass. We're not catching Guadalupe. We're catching big largemouth bass. Scientific name. Sound. Uh. Uh. Micro. Micro but he was on that. You knew that. Sound annoyed. <laughs> Yes, I'm micro. Right. Yeah, micro. Micro set. Uh, micro something terrorist. Micro. That's something. their name. Yeah, salmonoid. As long yeah. as he's one pound nine ounces, I'm happy with him. So uh, if he one eighty, good. Ain't no doubt. Right. One eight. One eight. Yeah, one eight. That's right. So uh, practice starts this morning. We're gonna get after. We got two days of practice. Derby starts Friday for Mark. Yes, sir. And then everybody else. That happened at the other day. Flip flop. Yeah, yeah. right. No, at Rayburn. Rayburn, I was yeah, yeah. in Group B, I think. Yes, mm -hmm. and all y'all were in, That's right. in Group A. So it's going to yeah. be you fish Friday, we all fish on Saturday. Right. Yeah. So uh, we're going to go out here and go practice, guys. We're going to get after. We got to catch these bass. Ain't nobody else going to do it. No. Close it out, Mark. All right, so hey, this this the it's the practice vlog. This practice vlog. This is no. the oh, travel vlog. This, this is the tra no, you don't even know what video this vlog is. We're at. Vlog, I don't even know how to say vlog. This is a this is a travel it's vlog. Travel vlog. Travel vlog. We here in Texas, Austin, Texas, the capital. In case y'all didn't know, but Texas. We having a good time with the fellas as usual, and we are gonna catch these bass. I promise you, we are gonna catch these bass this week. Now, hey, y'all go check out my man Mark Daniels on, on the channel, hey, man. Hey, get a look. Give the tag. Hey, 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 what is it? What, MDJ uh, fishing? Nah, I think it's just my name. It's Mark Daniels. On Mark YouTube. Daniels. Yeah. Gary Daniels. Gary. Hey. That's a whole nother, listen, that's a whole nother story. Y'all ain't ready for that Gary right now. Gary Daniels, we'll give y'all that story yeah, next, time. Hey, next time. Next time, next time. Next time. Hey, hey, real man, Adrian, what's your channel? I don't know. You don't know. Hey, Google my dog, Adrian. The Adrian the video, y'all get check him out. We'll see y'all next time. Close it out, Mark. Hit that camera one time. Bye.